the light starts already to give us a fantastic plasticity down there in the meadow and in these rocks. The right on hut up there is already in the shadow. This gives a really fantastic contrast. So this really adds to the composition. Hi, my friends. Nice to see you. Today I'm out for a scouting tour. I'm currently hiking up a mountain here in the area of Lake Wolfgangsee. You can't see the lake, obviously. It's anywhere down there behind this tree and also behind some hills or on hill back there. Do you know, through Corona lockdowns, we all had the problem that we didn't have or we still don't have the possibility to go everywhere we want in the world and so I also had to cancel already two photo tours one in April one in June one was in Germany one had been in the Dolomites in Italy and I also had planned two other locations during the year but I cancelled everything but I put so much energy in these tours in this project so I really planned into details potential spots potential compositions and so on and all these I would not say I did it for nothing because it's always a little bit a kind of practice and training and I also think maybe one day I will go there anyway <laughs> so but however in the moment I think I need a little bit more possibilities for photography I need some spots some locations where I can go some potential compositions and this is what I want to try today I'm out here now as already mentioned for a scouting tour and the goal for the day is just to find a couple of spots. I were already happy with one, maybe two, something like this. And I also think, maybe, hopefully, it will also be possible to get one composition for a sunset shot for today. And so I'm just out here to enjoy and to relax. And let's see what the day will bring today. So let's go. on the mountain and it looks absolutely amazing here so fantastic the mountain back there looks really spectacular and I thought already about building up a composition here I think it wouldn't really work for a sunset because the Sun will go down between these two huts and I would have it in my frame so this is not what I really want in most cases I try to avoid the sun in the frame because it's a little bit too much energy but I think maybe in another time of the year I really could imagine to build up the composition here. It's a little bit tricky to be honest. The trees over there touch the hut 
and so on. It's not really possible to make it perfect, but I think it could turn out in a really great photograph. So however, I think behind this hill is a fantastic view to a lake down there. I'm not sure if it's possible to find a composition with the lake, but I think when I go a little bit more up this hill, it could maybe work. Maybe also with some huts here in my composition. I'm not 100% sure. We will see if anything is possible. So let's try for it. I'm here now at the summit and it looks absolutely amazing. What a view, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. We have a view to Lake Wolfgangsee at this side and a view to Lake Mondsee at that side. And I came from that side before and I found a couple of potential compositions and most of them don't work today because of the direction of the light. This is one of the major problems in summer when you want to photograph in blue sky conditions. The direction of the light gets absolutely important. And so I think the sun will go down at that side and I think I will choose a composition in that direction with Lake Mondsee. And it's not so easy to find a foreground to be honest. So in such a case what I do is I don't use a foreground. The thing what really defines this spot here are the huts down there. And I think I will take some huts in the midground and the lake behind. And the really tricky thing is that we have all these lines down there with the trees touching the lake. It's not so a problem up here, but here we have that trees right beside. So it doesn't work up here. I think I will go a little bit more down again and choose for the final composition for this evening. And then, yeah, let's try for it. never believe what I found when I came down here. <laughs> I found the foreground. I think you saw it already in the b-rolls before. I really didn't expect to find some stones or some rocks here in, on the ground. I knew that, that uh, there were some rocks there and were lying here, but I thought there's too much going on here and it's not possible to find a really great composition. But I had a look here and I found a composition. How crazy is that? <laughs> so. When we have a look down there, it's nearly like the composition what I found already before. So I choose already these three huts there and it was a really nice composition without foreground. And by the way, I think about taking it with my second camera. I also have a second camera always with me. So when I go into my setup and wait for the light, I always have a second camera. Can use it freehand or also with my Gorilla Bot where you are sitting on here now in a moment. But however, the subject is this amazing view down there, this lake there. As already mentioned before, this is Lake Monte. And we will get the light nicely from the left. So the mountain face at the right will be illuminated by the sun. And I also hope that we get amazing contrasts here in the landscape. In the moment, everything looks flat and so on. This is in on the one hand because the sun is too high. And in the other hand, we also have lots of haze here. And you know, haze is usually not a good thing, but it could add. And in this case here, the haze adds to give us a feeling of depth there. We don't have these steps of layers here, but you also see the more it is in the distance, the more hazy it gets. And this is what I really love at summer photographs. As we already mentioned, our foreground are the rocks down there. 
they lead us into the frame. This is so important to get a really great feeling of depth. And our mid-ground is this Alp Meadow. Also the cows in a moment, I'm not sure if they will be there afterwards when the sun is going down. We have the huts down there and we have a little bit of layering there with the hill, with the trees, with the closer trees and so on. And they also think that they will have different colors after then. It is framed through the mountains at the right and the mountain at the left. And we have this fantastic lake out there. That's really pretty good. So I will wait for the setting sun and then I will take the exposure. <laughs> I'm so happy that I came up here. It's so fantastic. What a view. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Whenever I am off to find a sun a flavor of a memory Whenever all the stars above are shining Then I know I'll never be alone around an hour to sunset but the light starts already to transform everything down there. The only problem we have in the moment obviously is we have too harsh light. I saw in the weather maps that we will have clouds back there and this had been really fantastic because this works like a diffuser. So in this case we had got really soft light from the left and this really adds to a kind of relaxing feeling and so on. But the harsh light we have in the moment looks more dynamic and this doesn't really fit with our composition here. So I think the composition with the longer focal length without the foreground will work better in this case. Because when you have a look at the foreground now, it's really too harsh light. So it's a little bit too bright as well. This is not the biggest problem. We could change this in post-processing, but the harsh light is nothing we can really change. So I fear this composition here will not turn out really fantastic. But anyway, I will take the photograph afterwards and maybe the clouds will change up there. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult to see back there. I'm not sure. It doesn't look that we have clouds back there. It looks after a blue sky. It's more a white sky back there, obviously. But however, the light starts already to give us a fantastic plasticity down there in the meadow and in these rocks. The right and hut up there is already in the shadow. This gives a really fantastic contrast. So this really adds to the composition. And I think I will take the composition with the longer focal lens right now freehand because I have only one tripod with me. And yeah, I have to rebuild it. Let's see how it turns out. I've also a circular polarizer here on this lens on. I've always two with me, so I'm not limited here when I have two cameras in setup. I don't have to change anything at the other camera. So this is really a great thing, but it definitely would also work with only one polarizer. I just had to put it away, but I don't want to touch anything on this setup because I worked already hard on it. It's a wide angle composition and wide angle composition means always you need more effort to build up the composition. But however, simple compositions with longer focal length also could look really pretty good. So let's recompose. It's only a simple composition. Let's make the click. So the light gets already a little bit softer. I think we have a tiny bit of clouds back there in the west. I had a look at the satellite maps and there I saw that there is a little bit of, of clouds up there. But it's not as much as I hoped as we, that we get. So definitely it is too bright in the foreground. We have too harsh light but it got a little bit better. So I'm not sure maybe I can rescue this in post-processing. We will see. <laughs> 
we will see if this will work. The composition is not the worst, I think. Maybe through the light situation, it could be that it lands a little bit too much to the right. So I'm not 100% sure and I, I will not change the composition here now. The conditions aren't the right now, the conditions aren't the best for this photograph. So I will take it as test shot and let's, let's see how it turns out finally. The light is fantastic back there on that mountain over there. And the advantage, by the way, that we have a really bright part here in the foreground is that it gives a feeling of depth. We also get fantastic patterns painted on the meadow down there. It's absolutely amazing. Such a lovely place. I explained the composition already. I think the light will not get better today. So let's make the click. on the way down you know I want to be down before it's all too dark it will be dark <laughs> it's always dark when I'm down but however I have my torch with me in my backpack as usually so I'm I'm really happy that I came up I'm not sure about the last photograph to be honest the final photograph the one I put really most effort into my, into the composition but yeah it's not only about the composition you know we need the right light, we need the right weather, all these things. I made a video about this, the ingredients of a Volkas photo. So if you haven't seen, I will link it above. And yeah, I'm not unhappy with the situation today. I think the photos I took freehand turned out really fantastic. I didn't expect to, to get photographs, to get great photographs freehand during the day. <laughs> we have summer, so... You know, it's really tricky to photograph in summer. It's more easy to photograph on sunset or sunrise when you have clear sky conditions, but not always. You can use the haze. However, I think the final spot has really potential and I will definitely come back. Maybe also in another time of the year where the sun hides a little bit more behind the mountain. This was also a possibility or when we really have clouds where I have predicted them. The better predictions are not always right in the moment and I'm not sure if I have mentioned this already in one of my videos but through Corona you know they don't fly so many aeroplanes and the weather data from aeroplanes are really important for calculating weather maps and they are missing in the moment and this is the reason that the weather predictions don't work as they should. So However, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up, share this video with your friends, maybe on Facebook, Instagram. I were really happy. It would help me to grow this channel. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't have already. So thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday. Thank you. Bye. Then I know